Hey y'all, it's your girl, Presidential Lily, your favorite Lily, and we are back with another video. In today's video, I decided to take a little, a little step on the wild side, okay? And took a splash in the nail community. Look at my nail, broken, bad. Okay, um, but took a splash in the nail community and on YouTube and decided to make a nail video because we're in quarantine and why not? So, um, let's just go ahead and get right into the video. So, you guys will see me the whole entire time. I will be watching the video on my phone, on my old phone. And, yeah. Okay, so here's what the box looks like. It is a really cute pink box. And the first thing in the box is a little card and it says enailcouture.com and it has Max Estrada, the owner, the founder of Enail Couture, which stands for Exclusive Nail Couture. And it also gives you a thank you note on the other side. Next in the box, I have this pink paper that just has like my order list on there. So it has everything that I got in my box that I decided to pick from the website. So here is my monomer. This is not the original box bottle that it came in, but I did, I went ahead and switched the container, like my monomer over into this airtight mason jar container, just because I had already, I was, that's what I was using as a dampened dish. So I just ended up just transferring it all over and I threw away the bottle. Here I have my, uh, I got a 150 by 150 grit nail file. And here are the acrylics that came in the trial kit. Um, one thing about the trial kit was I was really kind of upset because they said it was gonna come, it came in a bigger size, and it looks to me that it came in the same size that it's been coming in. I don't know if that's just using they're using that for advertising traffic or what, but it is what it is. It's okay. I'm I'm going to try another kit soon here in the near future. So be look on the lookout for that. But here are the three acrylics. Here's the acrylic system. It's more like a peachy color. You have Grand Champion here in the middle. It is the white that I have on my fingers now. And you have this princess pink. And the princess pink is just like a clear with like a very, very, very faint pink reddish tint to it. So next I have these tips. Um, in each little size, there's 20 tips that come in the bag. And they go from zero being the biggest to nine being the smallest. And yeah, I got this glitter holic in the number eleven. I don't really know why. Um, like it took me a long time to actually get into like, you know, styling my nails differently. My nail tech was doing that, so like now for me to do it is crazy. So whatever. But I got this nail. I don't know if this is the nail primer or the nail dehydrator, but it's one of the two. And I got that. And I also got this little mini little UV flashlight so that I could cure my nails because I ended up buying his shiny gel top coat to go on the top of my nails because I always get a gel top coat when I'm in the nail salon. And yeah, I had to make sure that I got the closest experience as possible. I was really, really excited to use these products. Because just I watched, excuse me, I watched a lot, a lot, a lot of reviews beforehand, and he had great reviews. You know, we had some mixed reviews. I seen like his little incident with this other girl, but that's neither here or there. This is just my first time as a grown up trying to do my acrylic nails on camera for the first time. I'm really sorry about the quality. Like it was like a spare the moment, spare the moment type thing, but yeah. So I already like went ahead and etched and dried out, uh, filed down my nail beds, and I'm gonna go ahead and take the nail primer and put that on my nails. I should have went ahead and got the nail dehydrator to go after it, or the nail bond, so that the nails could actually stay. Because, to be honest, after the set, um, my nails started to lift, and I really hate my nails lift, but it is what it is. So I went ahead and pulled out my tips, cause you need to put your tips on 
And this is actually my second time doing my nails. The first time I did my nails, I hated them so much. I'll insert some pictures. I hated them so much. They were so chunky. And they just weren't the best. But I, to be honest, this set right here was actually too flimsy. And I had to go back in and add more acrylic. But it's all a learning process. So I didn't try to beat myself up too much. But the first thing that I didn't like about my previous set was that I match the nail tip perfectly to my nail my nail instead of like sizing it down one so that it would give me the pre-shape of the coffin so that's what i try to do with the tips this time around so you just see me like going through and like sizing them on my fingers so i'm gonna take this kiss speed um, maximum speed nail glue and I'm going to use that to glue the tips on my fingers now this glue right here is actually the beads thingies okay um, it does glue really fast so make sure that you take your time and don't glue the nail on there crooked crooked because the first time I did my nails too um, I glued some of them on crooked so I was like I did them too thick and then I had them too squared off pre like already so it was too much filing that I had to do there. It just killed me so much. So I was really satisfied with the way that I glued these tips on this time around. So once I got my tips on, I'm going to go ahead and file my nails. I went ahead and like filed my nails. And I was really hesitant if I should go ahead and keep them really, really long as long as the tips were. Or if I should um, cut them down a little bit. And you'll see that I ended up going ahead and cutting them down a little bit I'm sorry my dog is being crazy but here I am I'm just cutting off the like where you can see the number I just cut it off that's it I'm gonna take a sip of orange juice you guys are gonna see me look like this with the same hair in another video like the next video i really love this look please give me a thumbs up if you love this hair oh honey i really love this style i love a blown out look and i love layers so i decided to give it to you and i cut it so it's giving me like real grown woman real sassy real you know real vibes real housewives vibes you know Married to Medicine vibes. I love it. So here I'm still filing, shaping the nails. Okay. Um, I hope this video is not too long for you guys. Like I really am self-conscious of long videos. But this is just how I did my nails. And I thought you guys would like it. It's something new other than what I usually do. And the way I'm editing this video is new too. So I hope you guys like it. I got this editing style from Femi Beauty. Uh, she's one of the nail techs, like at home nail techs. She's not licensed that I've been watching on YouTube. So her and long hair, pretty nails. I love both of them, okay? So they have been the ones who have taught me how to do my nails this go round. So I've really been enjoying it. They are the ones that made me go ahead and take this big step into this nail community, baby. So right now what I'm showing you guys is how I'm taking my time and using my file to just like go over where my the nail and so right here you see me showing you guys how I'm taking my nail file and just taking away some of the shine where my nail my nail bed and the tip meet where I glued the tip so I'm also like level leveling it out and I don't know I really don't know why this tip is important I'm not gonna act like I do know why I really don't I don't even know what they told me for real, y'all. I was just doing my damn thing. Like, honestly, I was just having fun and trying to let go. Like I said, it was like a spare of the moment type thing. I just did it just to do it because why not? I think it was going to be some great content. my nails because I knew the one thing that it was going to do was dry them out so I just knew that was, was going to help my nails really stick in here 
but you really do need that bond so if you want to do your nails at home for the first time or just period um i suggest you always get the primer and the bond to really get a nice uh set so here's just the grand champion and i'm gonna go ahead and crack open the monomer And here, wait, let's pause. If you're this far in the video, I think you should subscribe. If you haven't already, and if you already are a subscriber, thank you for coming back. Oh my goodness, girl, I love you. Hi, honey, hi, sweetie. And, um, you know, go ahead, click like. I tried to trick you guys into clicking like previously, but I'm going to go ahead and try to do it again for a second time in a row. So, if you're here, you should go ahead and subscribe if you haven't, like I said. And you should go ahead and like the video. Like the video, you like it. Like, if you already here, why, like, why not? Like, why would you not like it? If you this far right here, if you hear me say this, say this to you, why, why, why you ain't doing it? Hmm? Go ahead. Now let's get back to this video. So, this is a brush that I bought like two years ago from Sally's. Um, it's a number eight. I crimped it myself. And that's about all I can say. Now, I've been trying to do my own acrylic nails since I was probably like young. Like below like, like eight, nine, ten-ish area. So, like I've always done my own nails off and on. So this was just like another attempt. So I just keep getting, I get better and better every time, but they're always years apart. So I'm like always rush, rusty and brushing up on my things. But I'm gonna, I already started to go uh, do this on the nail. So what I did was you see me put a little bit of the monomer down right there where the nail bed and the nail tip meet. And then I laid a little bead. So I've been using my technique for this whole process was to use small wet beads okay because <laughs> i didn't i don't i'm not a professional and i don't know how to pick up a proper bead but i watched a lot of like little videos from like young nails and stuff like that and how how to pick up a bead and how to get a good bead and work towards getting a good bead and so i'm pretty sure i was talking about how my dog is making this process really really hard for me honestly back to the video i don't know where i was just where i was just now but my whole philosophy in doing these nails was to use small wet beads and take my time with shaping the nail and getting it formed how i wanted to and i wanted to make sure that i formed a proper apex like i seen in all the other videos and then i was trying to make sure like i did a lot of stuff that i seen my like mimicking i was mimicking a lot of the things that i seen my actual nail techs do you know in the in the past so it was just a lie, you know, tr I was really trying my best. Really, it probably took me like four hours to do this set of nails. And I'm only showing you like what I'm doing on one hand, like a few fingers. I don't know. But I really just kept this same technique throughout the whole nail, taking my time, laying, like brushing my finger. So what I did was I was brushing the nail with the monomer. So the bed would already be wet. And then I would dip my brush in the monomer and then I would just like drag it on the side of the uh, mason jar. And then I would dip it in the acrylic and get like a small bead. And it would already be wet, but just making it, dipping it on the nail bed is already wet too. So just in case those little pieces of powder didn't get wet, they were wet, you know, they got wet. So it's easy for me to like manipulate it and get it where I wanted to. And the acrylic was really, it's beginner friendly because even though I was using really wet beads and they were small, so they were super easy to like run and stuff like that. I, I made it work. It was like, it didn't, it wasn't too runny. It was a good consistency for beginners. So I do suggest that you guys get this kit or go to email couture and look at some of their products if you want to. He does have a great sale, but the shipping is bloody hell. Is bloody hell okay so like I said that was just my technique for this whole this whole nail set it took a long time it took me like four hours but it was worth it I feel like I mean I was going crazy 
I was really, really, really going crazy without my nails being done. Like, I needed my nails done. I'm a person that literally gets feeling on top of feeling, on top of feeling, on top of feeling, on top of feeling. Like, I need my nails done. Like, it was killing me. So, I'm just going to let you guys watch me do a few more nails sped up. And then I'll be back. After all the applying, that's what my nails look like. So I began to file my nails, y'all. Like the process was crucial, okay? And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, like I did not just order me a drill because I did a few sets. I did two set nail sets and I made a little money off of it because like why not? I like making money and I'm not half bad. So I actually did way better on their nails than I did on my own. Which is good, because they paid me, but still. <sighs> this had me, like, I was literally, like, ton I was literally, like. I'm really getting irritated. This video has literally taken so long to get out. And now that I'm trying to finish this video and edit it how I'm editing, my dog is literally giving me H-E double hockey sticks, okay? So, in this short little process, I have buffed loud shaped my nails right now you see me guys you, you guys see me buffing my nail out I'm not editing it out this is what I do with So once I got my nails shaped, foul, and buffed how I like them, I went ahead and took my shiny gel top coat polish and just took my time and really just brushed it on my nails really neat. And then I took my little flashlight and I literally counted to 30 because I know that they, when I use the lamp, put my hand in the lamp, they usually make me do it 30 times you know and then at the last one for the top coat they do a, a whole minute but i did mine differently because my circumstances are different and they worked pretty like they worked fine i love my nails okay i loved them i'm gonna take these off and do another set because i got some new stuff coming in um hopefully i can get these new acrylics so that i can just always keep doing new ones i have like this theme that I want to do with my acrylics, like the things, like the nails that I want to do. So, um, yeah, they're right up my alley. They're going to be, I don't know. I am really want to give you guys something new. And I'm really pretty much, whatever I like, put my mind to, I'm really like, I'm pretty good at it and I can do it. So I want to like show you guys everything that I can do and what I do put my mind to. I like, that's what I want to do. And look, look what I did. I put my mind to something and look at these nails, guys. They look so cute. They were shaped how I wanted them to be shaped. They were everything. They are everything and then some. I'm super happy with them. I'm like I still this is my this is just my first set on camera. Honestly, my first very first set on camera and as an adult as well. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the process. It was nice. It's a lot of work, but it was really nice to do. I was really proud of myself. I mean, I know what I want to do next time to improve, but man, you can't tell me those don't look like quality nails. Thank you, quarantine. You guys have not put yourself um, to the test with something new during this quarantine i don't know what i don't know what you're doing i really strongly encourage you guys to try to pick up a new trade a new trait a new hobby something read a book work out like i've been working out like crazy honestly i have i skipped a few days but i've been working out and i'm working on trying to get get a video and figure out how to film a video with with my 
products that I have and everything that I have and make it look high quality enough to my standards so that I'm willing to post it and not be like, you know, crazy and shit. So, yeah, you know, I think you guys should just really work on adding something under your belt. Like, the average millionaire has seven incomes. Do you know that? The average millionaire has seven incomes. So why not find something else to add money into your pockets? Why not find something else for you to love, for you to put your mind into, for you to invest? You get what I'm saying? Like, y'all be too caught up in the wrong things nowadays. And I'm just trying to put you on to the real. I want y'all to succeed. I want everybody to succeed. I, like, I just feel like this, like, this quarantine ain't, this ain't nothing to be sad about. This ain't nothing to be depressed about, baby. Because, honestly, I have put so much love, love, work, like, so many, I can't even, like, I have become a way better person. I have really, really, really have. I've become more consistent in life with just certain little things. I'm, I had a little spat with this, but I've still been very consistent with this as well. Like, I've just been overall satisfied with the outcome of my life and how my life and where my life is going right now and i want everybody to do and feel the same because i know there's a lot of people at home right now feeling really down because they can't go anywhere anything like that and it doesn't have to be like that you have to always find the good and the bad always like yin and yang so hope you guys really enjoyed this video this video was really hectic it's just the first one, so I'm not going to beat myself up, and I hope you guys don't beat me up. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, and, yeah, thank you guys for watching.